Lesson number 13, Family Society. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to recall that humans have developed from small family groups of hunter-gatherers to complex societies capable of modification of their own environment. About 12 million people lived in the world 10,000 years ago. Today, the world population is 6.5 billion and rising. Everyone needs food and a home. Many people want a wide range of manufactured goods, like televisions and cars. Increasing population size increases the demand for the raw materials needed to make these goods. This can affect the environments which are the source of the raw materials. Human impact on the environment increased when people shifted from a nomadic hunting and gathering way of life to a more settled lifestyle based on permanent communities. Before then, the human impact on the environment was no more than that of any other medium-sized animal. Now we live in cities, transform the landscape and have the nuclear technology to wipe out life on Earth. About 60,000 years ago, humans lived as hunter-gatherers. Family groups set up camp for a few days while animals were hunted and wild plant food was gathered in the local area. Families moved from campsite to campsite, perhaps following the animals and the seasonal rains. The rains encouraged plant growth and so meant an abundant supply of food. About 10,000 years ago, some hunter-gatherer communities settled in an area, harvesting wild wheat and other wild grasses. Families could store seed grains, meaning they did not have to move from place to place in search of food. They had a more settled way of life, enabling them to live in permanent communities. By 2,500 years ago, Farming was an established way of life. Animals and plants with characteristics which were especially useful to us were selected and bred. Food was more plentiful and not everyone was needed for farm work. Some people were able to specialize in weaving and pottery. Others trained as priests, doctors and lawyers. Large towns and societies emerged. Today, people mostly live in big cities. Food is provided by relatively few people working in farming. Industry and technology offer improved living standards and increased leisure time. Mass transport allows people to travel around the world. Societies which developed from over centuries in different parts of the world are now in touch daily through travel and the internet.